Hi everyone, Hi. it is February 20th and we're here for another installment of Positive Thought February. You say hi. Hi. You say hi. Say hi. Hi. Say hi. 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 You show on your chin. What did you do to your boo boo? Got a boo boo on his chin. It's getting better, but it doesn't look very good, does it? <laughs> There's a tongue. It doesn't take long for that tongue, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> you do it. You do it. <laughs> funny. Um, so, <laughs> so last time I checked in with you, it was February the twelfth. So I've been writing down a few positives since then. So <laughs> Colby's now obsessed. <laughs> You're obsessed. All right, over you go. Okay. So for February thirteenth. Which is funny, I can't remember February 13th. That was last Thursday, so that was a week ago. And it feels like a long, long time ago. All right, I've got to stop this. <laughs> Down. Okay. All right, but you got to stop making the faces. Play with your toys. Okay, so um, February 13th, I, like I said, it's hard to remember last Thursday, even though it was only a week ago. And I wrote lots of great parent teacher that's right it was the day i worked till seven lots of great parent teacher conferences i got lots of wonderful compliments from parents and i got to give a lot of positives as well so that was a win-win for me i don't think i had a single parent teacher conference that was not positive so yay on february 14th february 14th Colby. Bunny it is a caterpillar. Oh, oh, come on, let me talk. Very good, Colby. On February 14th, Valentine's Day. It was just all around a great day. The kids have fun at school. With the families came for lunch with their children. Uh, we finished early. We walked to the buffet. We had food. We walked home. It was a great family day. It was a great work day. It was just a great day. In fact, that whole day Why? will be a positive thought. The next day, Saturday, uh, this is a kind of a very shallow positive, but I've been wanting those wooden trucks that the Dollar Tree, <laughs> that the Dollar Tree sells, and I finally got hold of them. I have an idea for Colby's bedroom with the trucks to cut out the Easter trucks and to cut out the Easter eggs and paint the truck and have like a row of trucks in this room that says keep on trucking because he loves trucks. So now, finally, I have those trucks. So for me, that is a positive. On Sunday, February 16th, I have another shadow one. I started watching The Sinner on Netflix. I have just now, that was Sunday, it's now Thursday, finished watching Cora's Story. And um, if you haven't seen it, it's it's really good. It's a, a woman kills someone and they know she killed him, but they don't know the why she killed him and they piece together stuff that happened to her to find out who did it and in the end she kind of like gets acquitted because it was it was her fault but it wasn't really her fault. I know, watch it, The Sinner. Mm. I'm gonna start season two as soon as, like probably tomorrow when I start working out. The Sinner, worth a watch. Okay, on Monday when I was at work and my son and husband were at home and I was completely jealous that they were at home, I said that my positive was, oh, yeah, I actually am doing this project. It's called a M and M E A, which is a model eliciting, model eliciting uh, activity with my students, and it's in partnership with my school system and George Mason University. And so, someone from George Mason University came in to watch me implement the lesson that they wrote with my school system, and. Uh, my kids did fantastically. Like, it was really good. It was really engaging. They loved it. They listened. They participated. They asked questions. They, 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 I could not have asked to have someone come and watch my class do something as well as they did. And it's not because my class were acting any different than they normally do. I actually, that is how my class acts. They are really, they are really engaged and they really do want to learn and part of it's that they're first graders and part of it's that my school is a really big project lead the way project based learning school and I think that this way of teaching is actually changing my students and changing the students each year 
into little people that really do work well together and really are engaged and do collaborate and love learning and love coming to school. So that was a really big positive. In fact, that would be my positive for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday because that's the days, that's the days that I had someone in my room watching, but really it's every day. So that was Monday for Tuesday. This is another shallow one. I ordered some boots from Macy's and I really need a new pair of knee-high leather boots but I'm kind of cheap and I love white mountain boots and white mountain boots were on sale at Macy's there were a short top pair the ones I kept if you watch my get ready what well, I wore to school video this week I, I wore them today but I got some top white mountain ones I love them they're not leather but they have like um comfortable like uh, fabric lining. I think they're really cute. But I ordered three pairs of knee highs that were reduced from like 80 or $90 to 35. They weren't leather, but you know what? I always have leather and I thought maybe, maybe I'm just being, I don't know. No! Maybe I, maybe I don't need leather. Anyhow, they came and I put my foot in them and they're not as comfortable. And yes, they look good, but I can feel that they're not gonna last. Like my leather boots last like years and years. So I had my husband take them back today. Anyway, my positive was that I found the one pair of boots that fit and that it was no hassle to send the others back. Just on a side note, yesterday, which was the 19th, I actually went on Macy's again and I spent the I think it was $85 on the pair of leather ones that I should have just bought in the first place. I do feel that <laughs> with leather boots, being cheap is not beneficial. Do you see my hands moving? I guess I do this a lot. Sometimes I'm teaching and I look down at my students and moving their hands like me. <laughs> like, I, do I do? And then I have to stand there like this so, so that my hands aren't moving and they know what I'm doing and they're laughing. But sometimes, <laughs> anyway. I'm expressive with my hands. So that was Tuesday. So Wednesday, yesterday. Um, oh, this is this is this is an adult him win. I did laundry. I usually do laundry on the weekend, and yesterday I managed to get a load of laundry done, which means that which means that this weekend I will not have as much laundry to do. Yay, mummy! Say yay, mummy! Bye, mummy! <laughs> and then today, this is another um, school-related positive, but one of my co-workers, who is also the STEM coach for my school, had my students in her room for a little bit today, um, doing some coding, again, doing some coding, and she praised my students for how well they collaborate together and their manners, and that really whenever your students are um, complimented for behaving well or being smart or working well it makes you feel good as a teacher so that was great and then when i came home from work my husband had made this delicious soup like a dip soup and it was it was really good and one of the best things i've eaten for a long time so that was also positive um lots of positives in actual fact, I sat down and I wrote the last three days. I had a really hard time with uh, Monday and Tuesday. I don't know why I had such a hard time. Anyway, I am quite enjoying Positive Thought February. It is actually kind of cool to sit and reflect on your day. I'm just not very good at doing it every day. I think maybe like a weekly reflection might be better for someone like me. Oh. Like maybe every like, well I'd say Sunday night, but Sunday night I'm like getting ready for work. So maybe every once a week, just randomly during the week, I could sit and look back on my week. Right? Once a week? We handle once a week? Maybe. I don't know. The things like writing down positive, so I always feel like it's another thing on my to-do list. But... It does feel pretty good, so maybe it wouldn't be. Maybe the it's one of those things that takes more work, but it's more beneficial to do it. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, we're getting near the end of February. If you have any ideas what I should do for March, please leave them below. If you like this video or you like watching these challenge videos, please uh, subscribe. If you like watching any of my videos, please subscribe. And uh, have a fantastic evening.